Hi, my friends. I wanted to talk to you about Advent. I know we can't be together, but I thought it would be fun maybe to create an Advent wreath just out of the things that you have at home. So I wanted to show you some of the Advent things that I came up with just here at church. So this is one that I got out of the youth room. It has four purple candles and one white candle. Now during Advent, we often use the color purple, which also reminds us of Lent. It's a preparation color. It's a color of royalty, and we are preparing for Christmas. And then the white candle in the middle is the Christ candle. Now in the sanctuary, our third candle is pink. This one still is purple um, because it's the candle of joy. So the candle of hope, the candle of peace, the candle of joy, the candle of love, and the Christ candle. But let's say you don't have candles that all match like this. No problem, we got you covered. So here's an Advent candle set that has a blue one in the center for the Christ candle, and then a white one, but they're different sizes. And this is kind of a creamy one, almost pinkish. Here's a green one, maybe you like the scent of it. And here's a red one. So you can use a mix mash of candles. But let's say you don't even have that. Well, here are four little jars that have little gold candles in them, right? So you could have gold candles, or you could even use these little tiny candles that you can find at the dollar store, right? So these have four, big, four of these kinds of candles and one big candle. Again, they don't have to match. So here's another one. White candle in the middle, which is tall. Three blue candles. And a pink candle for the joy candle. And this one has actually a wreath around it. You see, the, the wreath would represent, it's an evergreen, meaning God's love from Christ is forever, doesn't end. But let's say you don't have any of that or you don't want to light candles because candles can be scary, right? So let's push all the candles away and I want to show you an easy way to make an Advent wreath, okay? And all you need is some toilet paper or paper towel tubes, and I'm guessing you probably have some of those, and some construction paper. I happen to use some red and orange and yellow, but you can use whatever colors you want. A pair of scissors and a popsicle stick. That's it, all right? And again, you could use a pencil instead. You can use whatever you have at home. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. Oh yeah, and I have a glue stick or glue or whatever. Now you might want your parents to help you, but if not, if you wanna do this by yourself, that'd be great too. So all I did was I took an idea and I said, you know what? Oh, I think I lost my, my red one already. So I just cut a teardrop out of my construction paper, right? So I took my construction paper and I just freehanded, so you may wanna do that or not. And I said, oh, I'm just gonna make a teardrop, okay? And then I'm gonna cut it out I cut all three at the same time. You may not be able to. You may want to cut two at a time. Then I took the red one and I laid it down and I took the other two and I just cut off the tail just to make them shorter. And then I put the orange one on top of the red one and I came back and I did the same thing with the yellow one. So now I have three and so when you put them together, they kind of look like a flame, don't they? So then I took my glue stick and I put some glue on the end of my popsicle stick and I put the red piece on. And then I put some more glue on and I put the orange piece on and then I put some more glue on, but you don't need much. And then I put the yellow piece on. And then I did the same thing to the other side and this is what I ended up with, right? So I ended up with little flames on both sides. Then I took my tubes, and you don't need anything too much here. 
So I just took a pair of scissors and just made a slit. And then across from that, I made another slit. And then I turned it. So I just made four slits. That's it. And then I just folded the first one down, kind of like closing up a box, Cl folded the second one down, folded the third one down, and folded the fourth one down. Now, if you think you need some tape or something, you can do that, but I just kind of folded it down and snuck it in there, right? Okay, so after you've done that, all you have to do then is take your stick, your flame, here's your top, and stick it in. So I have four candles, my four small candles, and then this would become my fifth one, all right, my Christ candle. And I don't know, I think it's pretty bare. So I might wanna color them or maybe cover them in Christmas wrapping paper or any kind of paper. And so there you go. Here's an advent wreath that you can count down each week with us that not, it's not gonna hurt anybody, but probably be fun to do with your family or just maybe a, a relative or maybe even a neighbor. You could make it and even give it as a gift to say, hey, I don't wanna forget about you during Advent as we prepare for Jesus's birth. Take care, my friends. Bye for now.